All right, tonight we are also watching your money, and a big change is coming to your first paycheck of the new year. Taxes are going up, and for millions of American households, it's a lot of money that you won't have this year. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet explains what it means to you. Congress avoided putting the nation over the fiscal cliff, but not all is well. For starters, virtually every worker will see a smaller paycheck this year because one tax expired. It's the Social Security payroll tax cut enacted in 2011 and now going back up this year from 4.2% to 62 Amy Daly is the office director for this downtown hardware store. 2% may not sound like much, but when you look at it, it to some people, it may mean $15, $20 a week. And when you add that up, you're looking at $150 a month. For people making $50,000 a year, that's $1,000 out of your paycheck in 2013. On $40,000, it's $800 less. A study by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York suggests that workers will respond by spending less, like on entertainment and restaurants, which is expected to slow the economy. It changes how uh, I take my family out because I it cuts a lot of the rest going out to the restaurant, movies. Uh, the boys we like to go to football games. A thousand dollars then went toward Colts season tickets, may not this year. Get everything. Nicholas O'Connor works 30 to 35 hours a week at that downtown hardware store. And he's about to find out how much less will be in Friday's paycheck. It's not going to be in the bills. It's not going to be, you know, in the car payment. It's not because that stuff has to be done. It's going to be in the um, the activities and you know the money that you you know save, you know, at the end of the week to you know do some exciting. The Social Security payroll tax was never intended to last, but to be a short-term boost to the economy. And now that it's gone, that's a couple house payments for somebody. Or a couple utility bills. And what may become another bag of bricks on the back of a recovering economy. Chris Profit, RTV6.